Greetings Multiverse! We've just had the great news that Gotham Knights will finally get another showing at DC Fandome 2021 this October, over a year after the last time we saw it. As a bonus, all the cool little teasers and hints for Gotham Knights are starting to come back alive again. WB Montreal just loves doing them, and there's none cooler than the seeming reveal that Batman is still alive, and may have been brainwashed by the Court of Owls. This particular conspiracy theory has been doing the rounds for a while, but now we have some actual proof, or thereabouts, that this is really going to happen. Alongside the confirmation from Fandome that Gotham Knights will be appearing once more, hopefully with new gameplay and a release date, the Gotham Knights official Twitter account posted a cool teaser image of a member of the Court of Owls, complete with a quote from that great stinger in the first trailer. No one talks about them. Not a whisper word is said. This was very cool and would have stayed simply fun, except that Nightwing's voice actor Christopher Sean posted a very obvious teaser in reply to this tweet. His reply simply reads, Now he looks familiar, but how? There have only been a few characters revealed for Gotham Knights so far that we can actually find familiar, and the way Sean writes this sounds very much like Nightwing talking. The question at the end can only be asking how it's possibly Bruce Wayne. Because let's face it, it's not going to be the Joker, is it? As cool as that actually sounds, this person in the suit with his back to us is most likely, and quite possibly, Batman. The reason the theory that Batman is still alive and has been kidnapped and brainwashed by the Court of Owls is such a compelling one is twofold. Number one, comic book lore clearly states that if we don't see a character die or if there's no body, they're still alive. And doubly so if it's Batman. Number two, it'll be a really cool twist if the main adversary of the Bat family throughout the game is Batman himself perhaps disguised as Talon or Owlman. It would just work so well thematically. And that's not all the evidence we have either. At the same time that Christopher Sean was blowing our minds, his fellow voice actor, Michael Antonakos, who plays Batman Bruce Wayne, posted a video of himself on Instagram hanging around a recording studio, for no revealed reason, wearing a Gotham Knights t-shirt. Assuming this is not just one massive big coincidence, I think not! He's in a recording studio to record lines for Gotham Knights. If Batman is indeed dead, then WE Montreal would not need Anton Akos to record any more dialogue. All they would need is the opening cutscene. So to sum up, Nightwing's voice actor is clearly suggesting that the Court of Owls member in the recent poster is actually a brainwashed, bald Batman, and Batman's voice actor is back in a recording studio in a Gotham Knight shirt, possibly to record new lines for the game, which he wouldn't need to do unless Bruce Wayne was in Gotham Knights more than WB Montreal is letting on. Right now, I am calling it, despite the trailer, just as everyone believes Bruce Wayne's Batman is still alive in Gotham Knights and he is now working for the Court of Owls. Players will encounter him in-game as a boss character probably at several points and we may even see him in the next gameplay trailer at Fandome in October. But what do you guys think? Do you think I'm right on the money with my assumptions? Or do you think I'm way off and Christopher Sean was suggesting something else? Let me know either in the comments below or on the Inside the Multiverse Discord server, which you'll find a link to in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe, that all really helps me out. And check out other videos on DC Comics Gamer. I've got multiple on Gotham Knights right now, including the leak of The Penguin and the first look at the Todd McFarlane action figures range. For now, thanks for watching folks, and Multiverse out.